Developed by an independent team and published by UNESCO, the EFA Global Monitoring Report published from 2002 to 2015, aimed to sustain commitment towards education for all. It published 12 reports from 2002 until 2015, and was then renamed, and relaunched under a new mandate as the Global Education Monitoring GEM Report, UNESCO, whose principal role is to monitor progress towards the education targets in the 2030 Sustainable Development Agenda. It has been replaced by the Global Education Monitoring Report. Background In April 2000 more than 1,100 participants from 164 countries gathered in Dakar, Senegal, for the World Education Forum. The participants, ranging from teachers to prime ministers, academics to policymakers, non-governmental bodies to the heads of major international organizations, adopted the 2000-word Dakar Framework for Action, Education for All, meeting our collective commitments. About the EFA Global Monitoring Report The Education for All Global Monitoring Report was the prime instrument to assess progress towards achieving the six Dakar EFA goals to which over 160 countries committed themselves in 2000. It tracked progress, identifies policy reforms and best practice in all areas relating to EFA, draws attention to emerging challenges and promotes international cooperation in favor of education. The publication was targeted at decision makers at the national and international level, and more broadly, at all those engaged in promoting the right to quality education, teachers, civil society groups, NGOs, researchers and the international community. Whilst the report had an annual agenda for reporting progress on each of the six EFA goals, each edition also adopted a theme, chosen because of its importance to the EFA process. As of 1 January 2016, the EFA Global Monitoring Report became the Global Education Monitoring Report GEM Report, with a new mandate to monitor the new Sustainable Development Goal on Education, for Sudanese pounds. <laughs> Aims and audience The Education for All Global Monitoring Report aimed to inform education and aid policy through analysis of the challenges facing countries. While the prime audience consists of decision makers such as ministers, policymakers, parliamentarians and education planners, other groups such as civil society, teachers, non-governmental organizations, university researchers and the media are important. Data. The UNESCO Institute for Statistics UIS, based in Montreal, played a leading role in providing data for the report on students, teachers, school performance, adult literacy and education expenditure. The institute collects data from over 200 countries and territories, but serious limitations in data coverage make it difficult to monitor certain aspects of education for all, from public financing to education. To improve and accelerate data collection, UIS is helping governments to strengthen their own systems and analysis capacities. The report also draws on data from national household surveys, specially commissioned studies and other sources. 
The report published quality assured data, compiled so that statistics are comparable for the majority of countries, using the International Standard Classification of Education not all countries use the same classification systems, however, which lead to discrepancies between national data and those published internationally. Differences also stemmed from national population estimates. To calculate several indicators, UIS uses estimates from the United Nations Population Division, which can differ from those published by individual countries. More generally, the quality assurance process entailed a time lag between the collection and often the publication of data by national governments and their release by UIS for use in this and other reports. Where possible, the report identified discrepancies and data gaps. Topic: <laughs> Funding and organization. The publication was funded in the majority by multilateral and bilateral agencies, and benefited from the expertise of an international advisory board. During its annual meeting, the board discussed the scope and contents of the report underway and provides advice on its future development. Each report was developed over a 12- to 18-month period. It drew on scholarship and expertise from governments, NGOs, bilateral and multilateral agencies, UNESCO institutes and research institutions. Research papers commissioned for each report are available on the website. The final version of the report was submitted to the Director General of UNESCO on an annual basis and considered by the High Level Group on Education for All, comprising 24 members, including government ministers, representatives of donor organizations, UN agencies and non-governmental organizations. Its role, as stated in the Dakar Framework for Action paragraph 19, was to sustain and accelerate the political momentum created at the World Education Forum. The report is translated into the UN and other languages so that its messages and findings may be shared. Reports by year. Global Education Monitoring Report 2019 Migration Global Education Monitoring Report 2017 Accountability in Education Global Education Monitoring Report 2016 Education for People and Planet – Creating Sustainable Futures for All Global Monitoring Report 2015 Education for All 2000-2015, Achievements and Challenges Global Monitoring Report 2013 Quarters Teaching and Learning, Achieving Quality for All Global Monitoring Report 2012 Youth and Skills, Putting Education to Work Global Monitoring Report 2011 The Hidden Crisis, Armed Conflict and Education Global Monitoring Report 2010 Reaching the Marginalized Global Monitoring Report 2009 Overcoming Inequality, Why Governance Matters Global Monitoring Report 2008 Education for All by 2015, Will We Make It? Global Monitoring Report 2007 Strong Foundations, Early Childhood Care and Education Global Monitoring Report 2006 Literacy for Life 
Global Monitoring Report 2005 Education for All, The Quality Imperative Global Monitoring Report 2003-2004 Gender and Education for All, The Leap to Equality Global Monitoring Report 2002 Education for All, Is the World on Track? Topic Directors Aaron Benavot, twenty fifteen report Pauline Rose, twenty twelve, two thousand thirteen quarters report Skevin Watkins, two thousand nine, twenty ten, two thousand one reports Nick Burnett, two thousand six, two thousand seven, two thousand eight reports Christopher Colclough, two thousand two, two thousand three quarters, two thousand five reports. Topic See also UNESCO Education Education for all Literacy Early childhood education Marginalization <laughs>